Hi, Ruronis. This is your pal, Ruroni K95 here. Today, on the Physical Media Video Library Series, on my D on this new edition, on and welcome to another video of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library. So, we're going to take a look at my TV show collection, starting from this pile, which I'm going to show you, like... So I'm going to show you my, for my TVD, for my TV show collection, DVD collection, especially like these. I don't want to drop them. So, anyways, my TV show collection, DVD, my tele, my TV show DVD collection today on the Physical Media Video Library series. Welcome back. All right, that I picked from my horror movie collection, but it's under the category on TV shows, and on every television show, it's probably in the same genre category. You know what I mean? I have these two right here. I have the Munsters family portrait in full color and in its original black and white in this version, like this one here. This one includes the original black and white version. And it has the full colorized version of the, the episode from the Munsters Family Portrait. There is also the complete series set of the Munsters, unless, as well as the season sets that are available. So we'll probably get it at one point. And I also have the complete first season of Tales from the Dark Side. This is the first season I get to own of Tales from the Dark Side. This is the one I finally get to get. And there you have it. And next... I have other TV shows in addition to my TV show DVD collection. We have The Brady Bunch. This is the first season. I've already did a review on that one. I'll put it on the side right here. And, of course, I have the season two of The Brady Bunch, the complete second season, by far. And I have... Most of these were I got for Christmas, but the other ones I got from Barnes & Noble online, and as well as Target, and I have... And... I have the Brady Bunch complete third season. I had to order this off of eBay, I guess. And also, same with season four. I like this one of the Brady Bunch. I had to get this, that's why. And I also got the final season of the Brady Bunch. This is the one I got because... Yeah, Oliver kind of ruined the show. And people, some of them start, stopped watching it because... There is also the complete series set of the Brady Bunch, which is available, I guess. And of course, I only have only one season of this TV show that I got from the book sale at the library a while back. And disciplining children on the naughty stool. The complete first season of Super Nanny. This is the only one we have here in Region 1 land. Because this was released by uh, Ventura Home Entertainment. This is the only one we get here in Region 1 land. And also, we got Snatch the Pebble from my hand, Grasshopper. The complete entire series of Kung Fu with David Carradine as Kwai Chang Kane. I had to get all three seasons of Kung Fu back in, on, on eBay that I got from an eBay seller because well yeah particularly I got these on eBay a while back because I had to get all three seasons of them there is also the complete series box set which it carries all three seasons of Kung Fu which is the original television series I have by far and And also, that I got from a one of those bootleg DVDs online, which has more seasons. It's pr spin-off predecessor from the original Kung Fu, but it's only filmed in Ontario, Canada, from Warner Brothers Distributing Canada Limited and Distri Warner Brothers Domestic Television Distribution. Kung Fu The Legend Continues. This is the TV sh the spin-off of the original Kung Fu, but it was filmed in, like, Ontario, Canada which is 
particularly this TV show. Yeah, because you know features David Carradine and Chris Potter in this one. Yeah, this was film. This is probably came out in the '90s when it was part of syndications on Showcase Network in Canada and including reruns in on TNT Network. If you ever watched, if you watched tele TV series in the '90s, you'll probably know. If you watched Kung Fu TV series on TNT back in the '90s, you'll probably know this TV show, Kung Fu: The Legend Continues. Great television series. I might pick up the true releases of Kung Fu: The Legend Continues that Warner Archive has put out, like seasons one and two. Here's the image on the back of the this one. This is my all-time favorite. I'm surprised that Warner Archive Collection only released the first couple of seasons of Kung Fu The Legend Continues, which are seasons 1 and 2 only. I hopefully they'll get a word that Warner Archive Collection will soon release Kung Fu The Legend Continues seasons 3 and 4 at one point. So that'll finish the entire series. And next I have the complete TV series of the original 70s Planet of the Apes TV show. For any of you pl fans of Planet of the Apes, I have the complete TV series version. This one I have is in a thicker case and all. I kind of like a box set. This one, there is also this slim pack, slim pack version of this one. But the one I got is a thicker case DVD. Because I got this DVD a while back at Barnes & Noble. This is why I get complete TV series. I also, I have other TV... Speaking of TV series, I have other ones I got from the library. We have Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 2 on DVD. I don't have Season 1, but I will get it at one point. This is probably its credit started at, in its continuity after the the... The, night, the, the movie with Donald Sutherland and Rucker Hauer and Paul Rubens in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Slayer. And I have the complete third season of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. These were like a dollar... Six of these season sets of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, they were like a dollar a piece at the books out of the library. And I have the complete fourth season of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And I also have the complete fifth season of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. These are the ones in, a, in like one of those like big boxed DVD case ones. And I also have the complete sixth season of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is the one I have. Yep. There, are, I need to get one more season, which is the complete first season of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, because this is the, all I have. And finally. We have the complete final season of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yep, this is the only one. There is also the complete series set of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I need to get season one so that it will go on top of season two right there. There is, an, there is another one I want to get called the complete series of Angel, which is probably a predecessor to Buffy the Vampire Slayer in its continuity. And I also have the complete series of Spaced, which it features Simon Pegg, from, who is famous for Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz. This is the complete series. Well, seasons one and two have seven episodes. This is actually a, a short series, because every seasons one and two of the TV show Spaced only has seven episodes, so that's particularly a short series. And I have the complete 5th and 6th season of Tales from the Crypt. I need to get more season sets of Tales from the Crypt. I need to get seasons 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I need to get... And this, there is also other season sets. If there is a complete series set of Tales from the Crypt TV show. But yeah, this was on the Sci-Fi channel. I mean, it was good, but this show I like more... I grew up with that I watch on the Sci-Fi Channel is this one, the complete first season of the Incredible Hulk TV show with Bill Bixby and Lou Ferrigno. This is my all-time favorite TV show from the '70s because I know this has 
a commentary on the Incredible Hulk pilot from a writer and director and producer Kenneth Johnson on it, and it includes Death in the Family episode, and it has the episode Stop the Presses from the Incredible Hulk season two, which I may get season two at one point, so that's why you know. And I also have the Incredible Hulk television series Ultimate Collection. I got this a while back at Barnes & Noble. There only has episodes. Like, most of these episodes are from seasons one through four. Like, if you see on the back of the DVD. I even did a DVD review on the Incredible Hulk television series Ultimate Collection back in 2017. And I also did a DVD review on the Incredible Hulk complete first season as well. I guess, because... The Incredible Hulk TV show with Bill Bixby and Lou Ferrigno is my all-time favorite TV show I enjoyed. And last one to cover my TV show collection, I have the last two DVDs of The Incredible Hulk TV movies, which after The Incredible Hulk TV show's cancelization in 1982 by CBS, I have The Incredible Hulk Returns, The Trial of the Incredible Hulk. This one's the two-disc set. The Incredible Hulk Returns has Thor in it. And The Trial of the Incredible Hulk has Daredevil in it, which has the cameo appearance by the creator of Marvel Comics, St Stan Lee, in this one. And The Death of the Incredible Hulk, which is the conclusion to the, to the, to the Incredible Hulk TV show saga. So, that, so this covers my TV show DVD collection I have, by far. So that's going to be it for my TV show DVD collection video, you guys. Thanks for watching, but before we go, here's my quick thoughts about it. Because I have picked about every TV show season set ones, especially on those season, whether it's a TV show on DVDs like those season set ones, as well as complete series set. Doesn't matter if it's a slim pick, slim pack ones, or in those mega bulky box set ones as well, as well as these big box set season sets on every TV show on DVD. I get from for your DVD collection, and that's part of owning a physical copy, I guess. Because this is the Physical Media Video Library series. Because that's how I called my series. Since my first video that started the Physical Media Video Library series, where I did my VHS DVD comparison of The Iron Giant back in 2016. And that's how it began the beginning, since the dawn of beginnings of the Physical Media Video Library series. Hope subscribe for content, my anime plan, link in the description down below, share this video on Twitter and Facebook if you have a Twitter and Facebook account, and all social media. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking the like button on this video. Please leave it in the comments about uh, your TV show, DVD collection, that you have in your DVD collection by leaving the comment section below in this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Ruroni K95. Feel free to join my channel, click on my notifications bell button, check out my videos that I'm uploading as well. And that's all I have to say, because... I had to do this video on my TV show collection because I had to start my my physical physical media video library series since the dawn of my video of my VHS DVD comparison of the Iron Giant which started beginnings of the physical media video library series since 2016. This is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it and I hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you soon for the next video and hope you have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off and thank you for watching my TV show DVD collection on the Physical Media Video Library series for today by far.